Hello. Hello, Mike. What are you doing? What are you up to today? We're putting up our security fence. Okay. And what is what is the what kind of fence is it? They call it prairie fence from where where the place we bought it from, because it's like for keeping livestock in where they belong. Prairie fence? I thought it was called a field fence. Well, that too, but prairie or field, whatever. Prairie or field fence. Okay, that works. There's a pain in the butt because there's all these things hanging here biting me. So what we had to do was to roll it out. The top, the bottom was done. We just put the top on, right? Another top layer. And you had to yeah, roll it out. Another four foot. Keep the gremlins out. Roll it out, and then you kept attaching it to a pole, right? Well, go up the ladder and show them that we notched the post and hooked the wire in the top. And now we're going to take a hammer and a bash it. There, that's close what Close it up did. a little bit so they can't unhook the wire from the top to take the fence down. Oh, so you're going to put a something on top of this. And what would that be? Oh, dear. <sighs> okay. I thought you said you were going to put something on top so they Not can't put it attack. on top. Close up the top. Oh, you're going to close it up. Okay. 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 We go up here. Okay. And due to the fact that the metal is kind of malleable, okay, we take the one hammer, you put it against one side of the post, and you take the other hammer, and it closes up the crack, and okay. you can't get the wire out. Oh, okay. See so how easy that was? That's, that's why I did it the way I did it. Cut the crack, beat it down with the hammer when we were driving it in, and leave all that malleable metal there. And then we cut a crack slot in it, put the wire into the slot, and then hammer the slot shut, and you can't get the wire out. So somebody can't unhook the wire and then rip it down and then climb over. Okay. It's in there. It ain't going nowhere. Okay. You sure you hit it enough time so that it's stuck in there? Oh, it's in there. No, it ain't going nowhere. The hard part's going to be fixing the end, right? Right here, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to get the drill out and drill a hole and put something in there so we keep that from sliding down. Okay, well, I'm just going to walk down to see. You said this is 235 feet of fence, right? Yep. So this is the whole thing. We have to put this up on each one. You can see it's still sticking out over here, but we're just going to have to wire down. And that's why it's overlapping so that nobody can get in between here. And as he said, you can't get in, get in through the top. So this is what we will be working on. And I'm not going to walk down all the way there, but you could see it's all the way down to that corner house. So it's about 230 feet of fence. So that was definitely a fun project. Only one of many that we have to work on right here. And this is a little different because we are in a desert climate. So as you can see, we got sand and rocks here and weeds. And we don't really have black dirt here. That's something you have to go out and buy and then you can put it down in your yard or wherever you need it. So this is what we do. So this is here so that people will not try to come in and it will hopefully make things more difficult for them. So what are you using to wire these? To fences together the bottom and the yeah you gotta put the bottom and the top together so you just gotta cut a small piece of wire from a hanger right no this is some this is just regular baling wire baling wire okay cross it over grab it with the pliers and twist it together okay and it leave the prong sticking out so if they grab onto it they'll know it okay so how many of those do you think you need to put up here <laughs> hmm. 
Well, you got flowers here, so what do you expect? There's going to be bees and all kinds of stuff. Well, there's something else you can look at. Show them all the bees and tell them all the flowers. Yeah. Well, this is a, what's the tree called? A desert something. Do you remember the name of this tree? No. Okay. Well, it is a desert tree that does well here, so it, and it actually has nice flowers. So how many of those do you need to put on, do you think? I don't know. At least four or five across the, each piece. So at least so four or four. five of these. So And this, uh, you got 235 there. feet going down there, right? So yeah, it's going to take a while. Okay, hopefully it's not going to take you all day. Maybe. That's what like, I said yesterday, and I was working out here at eight o'clock at night. Well, hopefully not. I mean, at least this part is up. We thought that this putting this up was going to take us half a day, like right? Yeah, it only it's, took us like an hour and a half. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so we're just going to keep doing that, and I'm going to go and do what I'm supposed to do, and then we can show some progress later right when you're done does that sound right i guess so or you See, can show them the bees before you leave come one more time how do you do this yeah there's plenty of them here and also by the other tree <clears throat> with the yellow flowers you just twist it around itself this is a kind of fence that is okay to have here, but obviously by where we live, we would not be able to have this kind of fence. <laughs> this is a no-no fence in Illinois, unless, yeah, you're, is... unless you have agricultural property. That's only, yeah, because this is kind of like agricultural. It's fence that you put up also when you have farm animals, right? That's right. Okay, all righty. So... Well, they call it prairie fence or whatever they call it. Prairie or field? Looks like we have a lot of them here, but so far they haven't been bothering us, so. So this is it for now, and we'll keep you posted on our progress and also other things that we were working on. We're gonna be here for the next seven days and then heading back home, but there's definitely a lot to do. The fun never ends. But at least the weather is good. So if you like our videos, don't forget to click like and subscribe. And also please feel free to leave any comments, questions. Have a good one. See you next time. Bye-bye.